Hi, Lou Eisenbrei here. Along with Debbie, I'm glad to have a chance to update you a bit on work here in Senegal and West Africa. Of course, Debbie continues faithfully in her role helping provide education for the many children of mission families here, as she teaches music and speech classes and serves as guidance counselor at Dakar Academy. I'm sure you understand very well the challenges of running a school during the COVID crisis, and Debbie will somehow continue directing school musicals and drama programs like Peter and the Star Catcher this November. I've been busy producing audio scripture recordings in the Indut language. While the Indut Audio New Testament is nearly ready for distribution, it still needs to have their scripture songs inserted throughout the New Testament and have the multi-voice dramatized Genesis audio put with it. Then there'll be duplication and packaging of SD cards for people's phones and listening devices. And here you can see me working on Genesis 19, the story of Sodom and Gomorrah. And that includes the mob surrounding Lot's house and lots of vocal rioting noises. Lot! Until they're struck blind by the angels. And there's a good example here of how the New Testament points back to these key stories. You know that short New Testament verse, Remember Lot's wife. Well, here's a spot where we want listeners to be impacted by the account of her disobedience and looking back and being turned into a pillar of salt. So we pray that this audio and the sound effects will make that moment as real and shocking as it must have been for Lot and his daughters. Genesis is also included in print form in the Ndut New Testament books. And since those print copies had arrived, ready to be distributed, they decided to go ahead and hold a COVID-appropriate dedication for the New Testament, October 31st. That was a shared event with the dedication of a local church building renovation, and printed New Testaments were sold to lots of people who were eager to have them. I was so happy to be there to celebrate that with Alois and Ellen, the two Ndut translators who worked on it with our SIL colleague Suzanne Marshall. You see, we become a remote recording team when I go out to record the actors' roles there in their village. In October, the three days of recording were in 90 and 100 degree heat, but it was manageable. We always ask the Lord for strength and guidance in doing it all. In the next months, I'll be dramatizing other not yet done Ndut Old Testament portions, Judges, parts of First and Second Samuel, Psalms, Proverbs, various prophets, and we hope to see some sort of recording services in place after we leave Senegal, expecting that to be around mid-2022. So there's building, planning, and training to prepare for that eventual date. I thank you for your support and prayers as we continue to act on your behalf as part of the body of Christ's outreach here in Senegal.